Hello, my dear friends. Today I will talk with you about the history and the story of a special type of dance all of us love very much. It looks like an engine for our performance on the stage everywhere all over the world. They are Wailem dance. <laughs> Before I start the story, we have to know exactly what is the meaning of Awalim. Is it Arabic or Egyptian word? In the Arabic language, Awalim means words. Besides this meaning also in the Egyptian language, Awalim means a group of people know everything about anything. So this is the meaning between both of them. Also Awalim indicate a type of dance or a group of dancers, oriental dancers or belly dancers and sometimes also indicate the musicians and singers in the Egyptian language. The story began in the Abbasid era, 750 AD, around 8th century. A lot of musicians asked to live next to pipes outside the palaces. Also, Jawari or the old Jawari had permission to live outside. They met each other and they held celebrations that like the folk. At the same time, folk asked them to have any type of dances, same as they heard what it was inside or what is inside the palaces. Some of the Jawari changed part of their houses to be looks like a nightclub. And the Egyptians can enter these nightclubs for entertainment. And some of the Egyptians can stay outside here and listen to the music and songs. This was the core of Hawalim groups in Egypt until the 18th century. 1798, the French campaign entered Egypt. Awalim and Jawazi escaped from Cairo and Alexandria, afraid of their lives. Some of them escaped to Delta and the others escaped to Upper Egypt. But later, some of the Awalim came back again to Cairo. For this reason, the French scholars met them in the streets here in Egypt and started to do a lot of research onto them. But was a mistake, I will tell you about it step by step, but later in, during this video. In the beginning of 19th century, 1801, Muhammad Ali ruled Egypt. A lot of, or most of, Awalim came back again to Cairo and many Gawazi too. And they started to do their parties once more again in the streets here in Egypt. And they celebrated everywhere all over Egypt. Suddenly, the Awalim found that they have to complete the vision once more again, so they hired some of the Jawazi to dance with them. But it was a little bit expensive when they gave them much more money. For this reason, some of them started to change a little bit to be dancing or to dance during their parties. But it was very difficult to dance and go to sing a song or to play a music or something like this and come back again to dance. So for this reason, it was very difficult for them. So some of them started to leave their type of work and to be as a dancer. During Muhammad Ali's era, it was forbidden for Awalim or Jawazi to enter the Egyptian houses. So they were play or do their performance outside the houses. But if we have a celebration, we can let the Awalim enter the house, but they have to stay in a very special place, far from the family, I mean from the, from the women. But women can hear them and can listen to the music and sometimes they can dance onto these music or songs, but on their place far away from the Awalim. Sometimes if the Awalim have women, they can enter the area of uh, the family, I mean the women of the family, and they can stay with them. For this reason, they watch them dancing too, and they start to know and recognize this type of dance, which later we will call it baladi dance. So, the Awalim know exactly that these families love very much to do this performance. For this reason, I say all the time that Awalim were the sparkle or the helmet this type of dance, baladi dance, to appear on the surface of art in Egypt. Life was wonderful like this until 1st of March 1811. A big disaster had happened in Egypt. We call it Citadel Massacre, 
when Muhammad Ali killed all the masters of the Mamluks, suddenly the Jawari escaped from the palaces, afraid of their lives. They met Jawazi and Walim in the streets and they started to work together. They changed together this type of arts and they brought to us this wonderful oriental dancing and belly dancing, also the music and songs, what we know now. Later, Muhammad Ali rebuilt a big part of El Sayyida Zainab area, which is back of Citadel area and near to El Hussein area. He was clever when he ordered to build a wonderful palaces in one part for the wealthy people who loyal to him and in the other side the houses for the workers and the servants who working inside these palaces and in the middle will be the Muhammad Ali street. A lot of artisans came and lived in this area and of course Awalim too and the area Awalim will live in called Awalim Lane. They lived in with Jawazi too. Last week I went to this area to take some photos and photos for my video. Unfortunately, it's removed by the government and not exists anymore. The Awalim were very important in the Egyptian society, especially for women, because they showed them the new fashion, the jewelry, how to move, how to make a makeup, and how to deal with your man, how to do this, how to do that. So that was very important in the Egyptian society. About the mistake from the French scholars, which mentioned by Edward William Lanius also uh, in his book, the manner and customs of the modern Egyptians. He said that a common mistake had happened from the other Orientalists about the term Awalim when they translated into a group of dancers and did not mention that they were a group of musicians and singers. In the beginning of 20th century, a lot of Awalim groups appeared in Cairo and Alexandria. Each group has their own Ma'alema and Ma'alema it means master who control all the girls under her hands and the Ma'alema either she is an old dancer has a lot of experience or a strong woman have a lot of power the Ma'alema divide the work among the girls also she teach them the new and the old steps and sometimes she asking them to do these steps in this party than the other and many things like that. In the end, she gave them the wigs after they finished their work. The Awalim dancers created for us a wonderful types of oriental dancing and belly dancing. And uh, by the way, my next video, it will be about the belly dancing. I know exactly that the belly dancing term, it is not Egyptian and it is European, but I will explain you much more about it and everything around it. Later, the Awalim groups became a low class in the society, especially after the government built the music institutes and the Academy of Arts, which brought to us a lot of musicians and singers. But we're still looking all the time for the Awalim, especially in Oriental dancing and belly dancing until now too. All of us, we love Awalim very much and all the time we smell and feel this type of art through our oriental dancers and belly dancers here in Egypt. This was my video for today, which I hope you like it. And of course, I'll be very glad to receive your comments or any question you have. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below and hit the bell to receive my next video about belly dancing. Thank you very much and see you again very soon. Bye.